In this video, we will be discussing how to make workflow more familiar when transferring from Autodesk Inventor to SolidWorks. Tip 1. Numeric input on creation. In Autodesk Inventor, when you're drawing a line, it allows you to type automatically to display the line's dimensions. In SolidWorks, the default command does not allow this. To change this, go to Options, Sketch, Enable on-screen input creation and create dimension when only when value is entered. Now you can enter the dimensions as you draw the lines. This is similar to the inventor workflow, as you can see here. Tip two, orbit, pan, and zoom. Autodesk Inventor and SolidWorks have different commands for these. Take for example, the zooming in and zooming out with the middle mouse button. It may be opposite as you would expect. To fix this, go to View, Reverse Mouse Wheel Zoom Direction. This will make it so that it is exactly what you expect it to be. Other commands, such as the Orbit and Pan, are different as well. While it is ideal to learn SOLIDWORKS commands, this may be frustrating to work with at first. There is an option to change this. Go to Keyboard, View, and we can see that the orbit and pan and zoom are all here. The pan command is F2, the rotate command is F4, and the zoom in and out command is F3. There's already a quick view, and if you would like to change this, you can click yes. Click OK to confirm, and now the following commands would behave exactly as they would in Inventor. This is a good shortcut to get used to at first, but the other commands that are native to SOLIDWORKS still work, and you can get used to them simultaneously. Tip 3. Inventor View Cube. In Autodesk Inventor, there's a small view cube at the top right-hand corner of the screen. If you are familiar with this workflow and would like something similar, there are ways to do this. Click the Heads Up Toolbar and the Orientation menu will appear. Otherwise, you can just click the Space Bar and it will appear automatically. You can now pin this toolbar and have these displays readily available whenever you need them, from top, right, left, front, and back. You can also change the isometric, diametric, and trimetric views. We'll keep this at isometric. You can also change if it's a single view, two views on top of each other, two views side to side, or four views. There are also ways to have a normal to command which snaps the sketch or figure directly to the face or plane you would like it to. There's also a previous view command or you can and you can name a view. We'll name that one new view. You can also select all the standard views and reset them to default. All this can be done in the orientation menu. There's also a view cube that is exactly like the view cube in Inventor, where you can click on it and the view cube will encapsulate your part or assembly and you can change it directly on there. Another method if you don't want the orientation menu directly in the way is to allow a standard views toolbar to appear at the top. To do this, click Options, Customize, Toolbars, scroll down to Standard Views, Check OK. Now the standard view menu pops up and you can move it wherever you'd like on the screen. Like right there. You can change the views as so. That was how to make workflow more familiar by Fisher Unitech. Thank you.